everybody, it's Chris. Today I have a empties video for you guys and I have quite a lot of things to get through so let's just... The first product that I have today is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. Here I have mine in Clean and Classic Original but I am really interested in trying out their other, um, I guess kind of like flavors. Not quite flavor, but you guys get what I mean, right? We'll definitely be repurchasing this, and so far I've been really, really, really enjoying Batiste. It's probably the best dry shampoo that I've ever tried so far, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed with Batiste. The next product that I'm going to be showing you is the Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser from Neutrogena. It's the foaming type of formula. It's kind of like a gel and then it foams up and cleans your face really well. I've been really, really enjoying this and it's just a really nice, gentle, hypoallergenic, um, paraben-free type of non-stripping mm, cleanser for your skin. It takes off all of your makeup. I absolutely love this stuff. It's great for the spring and summertime or pretty much all year round. Although for the cooler months, I do prefer using um, more like creamy products, but this one is really great. I highly recommend it, especially if you have sensitive skin, then I really, really recommend you guys go and check this cleanser out. Speaking of cleansers, I've also finished up my L'Oreal uh, 360 Go Clean Deep Cream Cleanser. And like I said, I really, really like cream cleansers. And this one is awesome. It really just makes you feel like you really just cleaned your skin. It gets off all your makeup. It comes with this little scrublet thing, which I'll probably be keeping. It's really great to use after you like work out or have like a sports practice or something like that. It's really nice and refreshing because it has um, kind of like um, a minty tingling type of feeling to it. And this is the pink one. I know they have the different ones, like a green one, an orange one, and like a gel one, and then one for like acne and things like that. But I really like this cream one. Um, so I will definitely be repurchasing it. In, in fact, this is probably like my second or third bottle of this stuff, so I really like it. Also speaking of cleansers, I have my Marcel Essentials 2-in-1 Face and Eye Cleanser, and I really kind of liked this stuff. So basically, with this cleanser, you do not need any water. So you can just take a cotton round and put a little bit onto the cotton round and rub it onto your face, and it'll just break down your makeup and get all of that makeup off. It's really cool and I think it's really good for traveling and it's also hyperallergenic, fragrance free for all skin types, especially sensitive skin and yeah I really like it and I really like Marcel as well. They're a great brand for sensitive or allergy prone type of organic beauty by nature hand and nail care treatment and first of all the packaging is really really beautiful. It is kind of like this baby pink kind of pearly pink color and then with um, rose gold type of accent and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It makes you feel really luxurious when you're putting it on. Um, it is for your like your hands and also like your nails or your cuticles and I really really loved it. It's not too thin and watery but it's not too overly thick and heavy so or like oily so I really 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 liked it a lot and I'm kind of sad that it's all done. I got it as a gift and I don't really know where else I could pick any more of this up but I really also enjoyed the fact that it was organic so um, yeah I if you ever see any of this then uh, you should pick it up. Next up is my Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant Toner. I feel like I feel like I'm in a commercial right now. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it's the Vena Active Naturals Positively Radiant Toner with Soy Extract and I really do like this uh, toner. Again, it's hypoallergenic. You can kind of tell the basis of my most of my skincare and body products. I really like natural type of things and um, yeah, I really like the packaging for this as well. It's just really nice and fresh looking. Great for the spring again. It's um, a right and a really nice alternative. I used to use the simple toner and I like this one just as much and um, Yeah, it's pretty good. It has like soy extract, which is supposed to um, Gently refresh your skin without tightness and kind of give a nice radiant glow to the skin um, And I really liked it just to mix things up a little bit I'm gonna show you a makeup product that I've used up, and this is my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. A lot of you guys probably already have heard of this, but it's an amazing mascara. I seriously, seriously, seriously liked it a lot, 
and I'm kind of sad that it's all dried up but um, it was a really nice mascara I don't know if you can see the little chubby spiky wand here but it was an awesome wand I really liked the formulation of this mascara and I also really liked the wand and how it just made your lashes look really nice and long and voluminous but not like overly clumpy I also heard that it was comparable to the lash blast mascara from covergirl I'm not really sure which one I think it was like the orange one I don't know which one what it's called but I saw the wands and I saw a lot of reviews and they seem really really similar um, so I should probably give that a try as well um, so let me know what you guys think if you've tried out the Lash Blast mascara, the orange one. Another beauty product is this and I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys because it's kind of uh, looking really battered up. But this is one of my most favorite, ma um, not mascaras, that was the last product. Um, one of my favorite uh, powders, facial powders, um, ever. And this is kind of what it looks like. As you can see, I'm I've mm, way over hit pan. This is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Powder. And this is what it looks kind of like. Um, yeah, this is all kind of... I can't really use the powder on the side anymore. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this powder. It's, like I said, one of my favorite powders. It's just really nice and soft and really nicely milled, finely milled. And it just kind of blends everything into your skin. I really, really like it. And if you're a beginner looking for a good powder, then I recommend you guys try out this one or check it out. It's a really good one. Um, so yeah, sorry about the way it looks, the presentation, but it's a really good one. Now, you guys know that I love me some hair oils. I seriously love hair oil. I don't know what it is, but I guess like... I dye my hair and stuff and I'm really big on just keeping my hair healthy so um, yeah I don't want to like dry up my hair or anything I'm kind of like paranoid about having really damaged hair so um, I have been using up this Hask Argan Oil um, this is the Healing Shine Treatment uh, with it says that it has added keratin in it um, and this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging. It's really beautiful. I love this combination of this kind of like aqua color with a with a brown. And um, it's just been working really well. I really like the scent. It kind of has a bit of like a citrusy orange scent to it. And I love that kind of scent. And as you can see, I used two little bottles of it up. So uh, I really did like it. It is a bit on the thicker side, so a little bit does go a long way. And I decided to pick it up because it was really affordable. I got it at Walmart for like one or two dollars. And I have also seen it at Whole Foods, so you can check out those two places if you're interested. And um, yeah, it's pretty affordable. And I just, um, a while ago, I ran out of my Mark Anthony um, Argan Oil. And that stuff was seriously amazing. I really would like to pick out more of that argan oil because it's the best argan oil I've ever tried. But um, I decided to give these ones a try. They're not quite the same, but um, they're pretty good. So a good, cheaper alternative. Going off of argan oil, I also love me a good kind of detangler or leave-in conditioner type of spray. And this one from Live Clean is awesome. I really, really do like it. It is the Live Clean Exotic Nectar Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioner Spray that nourishes and moisturizes your hair and I absolutely love it. I really like the packaging as well. It looked really nice when it was brand new, uh, but since it's used, you can barely even see. Um, but it was really nice. I really like the packaging. It's nice and functional and it worked really well on my hair to detangle and give a bit of shine. It wasn't too heavy. Um, it was it was pretty, pretty almost weightless and um, yeah, I really, really like it, so you guys should definitely check it out if you see it. I got it for a really good price as well. It was like $3 for this thing, and that's a really good price. And speaking of Live Clean, I also picked up this Live Clean Exotic Nectar Argan Oil Restorative Conditioner, and this one was a really, really good conditioner. I really liked it. Live Clean is a really awesome brand. I really, really like their products. And you guys should definitely, definitely uh, check out Live Clean because they they really are an eco-friendly type of brand. They like to use organic products and this 
um, both of these actually are 96% plant derived products also they have a really good price point this was like three dollars and then the conditioner was like four dollars so I got these for really really good prices it's awesome when they're on sale because normally this is like six dollars or something which is still a pretty good price and then this is normally like five dollars it's really great um yeah I really liked it and also their packaging for their products is really really nice I, it just feels like really good quality in your hands and it's nothing cheap even though the price would like to differ another hair type of product and this is the osis plus session finish extreme hold hairspray and um, i lost the cap to it but uh you can see what the packaging looks like and it's really nice, it kind of reminded me of the um, big, what's it called, big sexy hairspray. And um, this seriously holds your hair, it is it is an extreme hold hairspray. Although the only thing that I didn't like is that it, it kind of left my hair really crunchy and I don't know, I'm not that kind of person, I usually don't use hairspray so um, when I do, I don't like it to be really crunchy and I don't know, I don't like that kind of thing in my hair. But if you're looking for a really extreme hold hairspray, then here you are. This one really holds up your hair. A hairspray that I'm really interested in trying is the Elmet hairspray, which I've heard a lot about and I heard how good it is and I really want to try it out. Uh, apparently you can like, you can touch your hair and you can tossle it and you can even brush out the hairspray and it's really nice and soft and like wearable kind of and it's not too uncomfortable and crunchy in your hair which is something that i really want to check out so um let me know in the comments down below if you've tried the elnet hairspray before and what your feelings are on it the body shops strawberry shower gel and i absolutely okay i know i'm saying this a lot but this product was seriously so good um it is just the body shops strawberry shower gel and they have a bunch of different flavors of these shower gel. I I love this scent so much. It kind of smells like a cherry chapstick kind of smell and I know this is strawberry, but um, it doesn't matter what fruit it is. I just love, 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 love this shower gel. It smells so good. It's really great to get them on sale. I just picked up some more, not the strawberry one, but I picked up some other of their shower gels because their shower gels are awesome. I really like the body shop and their concept of kind of being eco-friendly and really um, good for the environment and they believe in fair trade and everything like that. This has fair trade honey in it and they are really big on just kind of um, supporting different communities in around the world and um, using community fair trade products so and I'm really down for supporting that so uh, yeah okay that was all of the products I felt like that's a lot and like I'm surrounded by a bunch of empty products right now on my bed and um, yeah that was it to this video I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching this video I love you guys and I shall see you in the next video. High five.